hello everyone welcome to my channel if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and today's topic is about how to count the number of consecutive visit days for each subject in SAS. To understand this, let us look into a sample data set. In here, we have a sample data set which is visits. And in here, we have three subjects. The first one is ABC123, and the second one is BCD234, and the third one is EFG123. And what a consecutive visit day means. When we are starting with a particular day, in the case of ABC123, the difference with next observation is one day which means these two dates are consecutive days so if you look into the next observation 28 jan 2000 this is not consecutive because the difference is more than one so how many days we have total as consecutive days in here two that is what we want to see in our result in here i am showing that we have abc123 as our subject and the count is 2. Now let us discuss little bit about BCD234. Here we have 03 May 2000, 04 May 2000, 05 May 2000 and if you see the difference it is one day between each one of them. So here we have 3 as our count that is what we see in our result. So let us see how we can do this programmatically. Before going and solving something programmatically we always need to think in form of the strategy how we can solve this and in here i have laid down four steps and i will go on each step and show them in separate data steps so that everything is very clear to understand and then what i will do is i will put them into one data step and then show how most of it works now let's talk about our strategy first we need to find what is the difference between one day and its previous day that would be our first step if the difference is greater than one when in this case we don't want any observation from here to the end of this particular subject so we will delete these two observations and then once we have deleted these two observations we start counting from here the count will be initially will be starting as one and then the count will be two so we have done the counting starting from one and two and then what we will do is we will pick up the observation where we have the maximum count so that gives us this particular result now let us try to start doing in form of code as we are studying within a subject what we also need to do is we need to sort our data by subject and visit day if you see in here the data is already sorted but i have kept this sort step just to make it more clear by using this by what advantage it gives is it tells us how we can manipulate these observations with the help of first dot variable and last dot variable i have made quite a few videos on first dot variable and last dot variable and one very lengthy video on this concept itself link for the same i will give in the description below now what here i am doing is i am coming back to my strategy the first step is finding the difference with the previous day in the subject so how do i do that it is very straightforward for that what i am doing is i am having by subject in here but let us not discuss this for right now but what i am doing is i am using the above data set and i am saying diff equal to visit day minus lag visit day what this will do is say this is our visit day right and it will look into previous visit day that is what is lag function will do because for this 12 there is no previous date we will get a missing value but for 13 we have a previous day that is 12 so what we are going to do is 13 minus jan 2000 and then it is going to be 1 and this 28 minus lag visit date that is visit date minus lag visit date this is 15 days we will get that as our result same is the case with 10 feb and 28 we will get some number which is greater than 1 the important point to remember here is whenever we give a code like this visit day minus lag visit day it keeps on calculating 
with the previous value irrespective of whether it belongs to same subject or not. So what this does is it calculates this with this and you know that is not right. So what we generally do add a line of code about which I will discuss in a minute. But first let's do our visit date minus lag visit date. Now once I run this you can see that our visit date 13 date minus lag visit date is 1 and then if you see 28 Jan minus this is 15 10 Feb minus 28 Jan is 13 but if you see here this value is doing the lag with this particular observation this is not right what we do is whenever we are in the first observation within a subject we write a code in a such a way we modified this diff to zero so this dot will become a zero this will become a zero first observation in each subject will become zero that is this dot will become zero this bcd234 when it is first observation it also becomes zero and efg123 when it is first observation it becomes zero now this makes sense right because whenever you have first observations obviously you are starting with the difference of zero and now let's try to do that in our code for that all i need to do is i need to uncomment out this particular code and in here once we have defined diff i am overwriting the diff equal to zero whenever the subject is the first one by saying if first dot subject then diff equal to zero now let us quickly run this code and see our result in the result you can see that whenever it was a first record in a particular subject we have diff equal to zero now we are able to solve our first step that is finding difference between previous day in the subject now let us move on to the next point that is if you find the difference is greater than one means it is not consecutive and then we need to delete from our group for that gets little tricky here what i am really doing is i am using a new variable and i'm retaining that new variable and i will talk about retain why we do it in here and i have also made a very detailed video on the retain if you are interested you can have the link for the same in the description below now as i've said i'm retaining new underscore well and what i'm really doing in here is whenever we are having a first dot subject then i'm saying new val equal to zero and here remember that i'm telling it to retain so it keeps on retaining the zero value it does only till it hits the next if statement in this if statement i'm saying if diff is greater than one and not first dot subject then new val equal to 999 so what this does is as soon as it hits the difference greater than one it retains this value to 999 now let us go to our output and try to understand this in here what i'm saying is when it is a first dot subject create a new variable new underscore val and give it a value of zero so in the first observation it will be zero and i'm also saying to retain so zero it retains the zero to the next observation and my next if condition is if difference is greater than one and if it is not the first observation then it should change it to 999 so this comes as 999 and it gets retained till here but this is again a first dot subject so it starts with zero it keeps on retaining until it hits a number which is greater than 15. now let us quickly run this code and see our result in the result you can see that you have zero zero for the first two and then 999 for the second two as we have discussed for abc123 same is the case for bcd234 whenever it is consecutive you can see that numbers are 000 when it is not consecutive it is 999 now all the zeros are what are consecutive observations so i really don't need 999 and then i can uncomment this and then what i can really do is if new underscore val equal to 999 then delete now if you see this what it does is it keeps only those observations which are 
consecutive within a subject. So A, B, C, 1, 2, 3 has two observations. B, C, D, 2, 3, 4 has three observations. E, F, G, 1, 2, 3 has two observations. Now it is very simple. The next step is all I need to do is I need to do a count. And counting is also very simple and straightforward. All we need to do is we need to take the data set from here. And here what I'm doing is I'm saying that if first dot subject then visit underscore count equal to zero and then I have a sum statement wherein I'm saying visit underscore count plus one. Here couple of important points. The first one is I have made a very detailed video on some statement and the second point in here to understand that first what I would like to do is I would like to go back to our output data and then talk about this. So what I'm saying is if it is a first dot subject start the count from zero. So this becomes zero. The count is zero in here. So I also have visit underscore count plus one without any condition which means this zero we add one to it in here because the first if condition is only for first observation so it was zero and then we immediately added one so it becomes one and some statement will add one more it becomes two and if you see the code in here what we are saying is if first dot subject then visit underscore count equal to zero so it will not add that number to the next subject it is kind of re getting reset with the help of if first dot subject then count equal to zero and then visit underscore count plus one it adds one two three so it adds one number for each observation and again it gets reset back to zero and then it adds one and two now if i run this code let us see our result and in the result you can see that you have count of one two one two three one two this is what i was trying to explain without even running the code now we are almost close to our result what we want is this observation for a b c one two three subject and this observation b c d two three four for this subject and this observation for e f g one two three and we are not interested in other variables so if you look one and two the two is the max here one two three three is the max so now by simply doing a proc means or you can do a proc summary or whatever and then ask for max value within a subject by using the by statement and we are saying that that max value should come out from the variable visit underscore count and if we run this we will see that we have our subject abc123 and our visit count is 2 bcd23 is 3 and 2 so basically we have used this proc means just to pick up the max within the group and this is done with the help of proc means and it also allows us to output a data set and in here i am saying that data set as continuous underscore visit it creates certain other variables so i am also using drop statement and i don't want to print my proc means so i am also saying no print and also for the max value i can create a new variable by simply saying max equal to the new variable now we got to our solution by making a strategy and then going step by step and solving our problem now even though i have shown these three steps separately i can include all of them in one step like this and then i can run my code and you will see that I have very similar result like what I've shown you before and then I can run my proc means. Now let us quickly run our proc means and this step and I'm using the data set created in here in our proc means. I'm not telling that this is the only way to solve the problem but this is the one of way you should be thinking and trying to solve it. That's all for this topic. If you like this topic please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe. Thank you.